We just arrived in Roma. Don't mind me, I'm like a sweaty mess right now. I've been up for like 13 hours traveling. It's been quite a journey. We had the layover in Germany from Poland as well, so, and a long drive, so it's been quite the day. Guys, uh, literally a one or two minute walk and we're at Piazza Navona. Last year we were on the other side of Piazza Navona and this year we're literally down this little vicolo and there's our Airbnb. It's not even a two minute walk, it's incredible. We have arrived! We have arrived! And we didn't even change We didn't even change anything. fresh off the plane and we're on the street because we just had to explore. This is literally like our backyard. It's Piazza so Navona. fresh, it's beautiful right now. It's beautiful. Look at that, it's smoking already, eh? Oh. Thought you were gonna come back, bro. I'm a good boy, I'm not <laughs> We are at Pizzeria da Bafetto getting a pizza for Arek. This is our old stomping grounds, Via del Governo Vecchio. Remember? Oh, we are so happy to be back in Rome because it's our home. <laughs> we feel at home here. <laughs> you gotta take A pizza from da Bafetto per portare via to go. Arek is eating already. Sausage and onion, sausage and cipolla. <laughs> and there's kids clapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it here. And then we told him we'll come back and he said next time without him, without, without Attic. There you go. Senza lui. Senza lui. <laughs> we got a nice gelato from Gelateria di Gracchi. It's so, so delicious. Good. The ice cream here is really, really good. We woke up late today because we wanted to sleep in. We were so tired from yesterday and I'm actually getting sick. I have a bit of a sore throat. But other than that, we're super happy. It's a beautiful day. It's actually fresh in the shade. So I want to get in the sun, get some warmth, and get some food and me some dessert. So I'll see you in a bit. It's so nice, guys. It's like perfect weather right now. It's, it's 20 beautiful. degrees, so it's fresh. It's but gorgeous. it's really warm in the sun. Yeah, I'm not used to coming to Rome and not sweating buckets, so it's actually so nice. So nice. Look at those stunning peonies. Oh my gosh. Those are my favorite color flowers and my favorite flowers. <laughs> They're so cute. I love it. Beautiful. And this is Campo di Fiori. Right now they have the markets out. Otherwise, later today it gets all cleared up. This is so cute. I always show you guys the same things in Rome, but <laughs> what can you do? This is Giordano Bruno and Campo di Fiori. Love it. You can buy some fruit here. Because me and Jules are sick. Squeeze. <laughs> Freshly squeezed. Let's turn it around and do a vlog. Oh, that's so cute with the little gelato. <laughs> amaretto and marsala is my favorite. It's so good. I think that's what I'm getting. This is the marsala and amaretto flavor. So marsala is like the sweet wine that used to flavor Zabayone with. It's so good. And amaretto is like the almond Italian cookies as you can see. So mm, I'm excited. This is one of the best. Okay. Yeah. Look how creamy. And it's right by Campo de Fiori. Literally right by it. This Zoom stands for Zucchero, Uova, and Mascarpone. Z U M. That means sugar, eggs, and mascarpone. And that's basically what's in Tiramisu. It's really delicious. It was so creamy. Highly recommend it. You can also find it in my food guide. So check it out. This is called Largo di Torre, Argentina. This is the spot where they believe Caesar was murdered. And here, Kind of like a cat sanctuary because all cats come here to congregate so it's pretty interesting it's a cool spot in rome i don't think a lot of people really know that so that's like a fun fact for you guys you see there's a cat there's usually lots of them a little bit further up and on all the corners so cute he is hi cutie Oh, he's guarding the store. What a little baby. So down here at nighttime they have cute little shops and bancarellis. Right now during the day they kind of just like set up for the nighttime. So you can see like little tents. They're further down. It's a very cute area. So Trastevere and Lungo Tevere. This is the delicious crostata here. They have that good ricotta and cherry crostata. Oh my gosh. I'm finally getting to try this crostata with ricotta and cherries. Last time we got it with chocolate. Jules got it with chocolate again because she loves ricotta and chocolate. 
Yes, for these two pieces, it was seven euros. Okay, guys, this crostata from the Jewish area of Rome with the ricotta and cherries. Oh my god. Mm. You have to try this. This is so good. I have the ricotta cioccolato mm. and it's delicious. Ricotta ciliegi, cherries. It is so good. I don't know how they make it. It's kind of like, um, doesn't it remind you like a big pasticciotto? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, this is the Altare della Patria, or Il Vittoriano, as the Romans like to call it, and this is in Piazza Venezia. You see, so if you continue going down, the Colosseum will be there, but we are gonna go this way to Via del Corso. <laughs> this is honestly one of my favorite areas of Rome because it's just beautiful, this building is so eye-catching, and if you go behind it, there's a lot of nice areas for photo ops, there's a beautiful church, so. We got a little homage to Mom <laughs> and Jen. Remember guys, when we did this together, we got some prosciutto, we got that delicious pizza from Def Barretto, we got some focaccia, Stracchino. we have some stracchino, that delicious cheese. <laughs> we're just miss missing the mozzarella because mom said to get that, but we were too full. We've been eating all day, I feel like just stracchinis as we're walking by. But sometimes this is the best way to eat, guys. I just love it. We got a supli from Suplizio. This is the carbonara one. It looks so good. It's basically like arancini, but it's the Rome version. So we are at Gelateria del Teatro. This is literally right down our street. Our street is further down this way. It's so cute here. I remember coming here years ago. It's a little bit less creamy, I find, than the usual gelatos. It's more like of an icy consistency. Mm. Do you find? Yeah. So it's very interesting flavors. Like Lisa said, they are a little bit more icy. They're not as creamy. My favorite place is still Joy Liti. So if you're in Rome, <laughs> hit up Joy Liti and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> He's a big camera shy. <laughs> I've become a gelato snob because I honestly couldn't finish that gelato. It was not, it was not that good. It's made, it's made. So that place is overrated. <laughs> I remember trying it years ago, not liking it that much. And then I gave it another shot because people rave about it, but it's just not that good. To me, it's a little bit too icy and you can't really taste like the creamy flavors of the gelato. Maybe the sorbetto, the sorbets are better, but the actual gelato, I was not that impressed. Hey, Jewel? No. <laughs> I said beating it. Yeah. I said we should go to Giuliti and redeem ourselves because <laughs> at least that's a good gelato. It's so weird to be wearing like a jacket in Rome. Yeah. We're used to like sweating. At nighttime. But it's actually cold. Though. At nighttime it's like 40 degrees. Yeah. There you go, there is St. Peter's Basilica of the Vatican, right in front of Castel Sant'Angelo. Beautiful. This is the bridge of Castel Sant'Angelo. Going through there, you can get to the Piazza Navona area. So pretty. Yeah, some food for the birdies. Open it. Help the guy open that. Don't kill me, okay? Here you go, boy. Oh! Look, he's gonna eat the whole thing. Oh my god. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> wow, he ate the whole thing. Dave, yeah, get him some water. That was really interesting. <laughs> His throat has the thing. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> And the cone, what a champ. This guy is a champ. I got my trapizzino and Jules got a nice supli from the same spot. This is a trapizzino. This is alla cacciatore. So it's chicken that's like in a braised wine herb sauce. It's so good. I love this, so it's a perfect snack. Pizza al taglio here. We're in Trastevere and Adek just wants pizza al taglio every day, all the time. <laughs> This is Piazza Santa Maria in Trastevere. This is a really nice area and they honestly have some of the best restaurants in Trastevere. So it's really good. I highly recommend coming here to have a nice dinner. This is Gelateria del Viale. We had to get another gelato to redeem ourselves because the one from earlier just wasn't cutting it. We know this one is really good because we came here last year with my mom 
This is not in my gelato guide because I made the guide before I came here, but I would actually highly recommend this place. It is right outside of Trastevere, Gelateria del Viale. There you go. Guys, che meraviglia. How stunning. I honestly can never get tired of Piazza Navona. I just think every time I see it, I'm blown away. Daytime, nighttime, every time. It's just beautiful. Look at this, insane. <laughs> Nobody's here, it's a rare moment. We're about a two minute walk from our Airbnb, so we're heading home right now. After a nice day of just walking around. It was beautiful. I love Rome. We've officially been here for 24 hours and it just doesn't get old. <laughs> Tomorrow, Addict's mom and grandma are coming, so we're going to be doing a lot more touristy things in the next coming days, which will be pretty exciting. So yeah, I got these glasses. Good morning, guys. Today is our second official day, kind of like third day. <laughs> Addict's mom and grandma arrived today, so that's exciting a little bit later. Today we are off early for a good breakfast. Thankfully we're up early. We're going to hopefully get some cornetti and a cappuccino. It's cold in Rome. I did not bring enough warm clothes. I brought all dresses. I am going to be repeating a lot of pants that I packed on this trip because I basically don't have enough of them. So I basically have two jackets and like a couple of pairs of pants that I'll definitely have to be repeating. And that's that. So <laughs> during the day at least it's quite cold, especially in the shade, but in the sun it's warm. So since it's early, I wore a jacket. Later on, maybe I can change. We'll see. But we're off to Roscioli for colazione breakfast. We are at Roscioli and we're having our delicious parnetti con la crema and we're just waiting on our cappuccino. Mm. This is the best breakfast. Mm, so good. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for. If you go down the street, there's the restaurant and then there's the cafe. We had breakfast at the cafe. It was so good. Oh my gosh, my favorite breakfast. And the girl inside even recognized us. So she's like, hi, nice to see you again. She was actually like really, really sweet. And I said, oh, we're back, but without my mom and my sister. So <laughs> they're going to be jealous. Mom and Jen, sorry guys. I know that was like their favorite breakfast when we came to Rome. But yeah, we just love the Rocholis. We love the forno, we love the breakfast place, and I still haven't even tried the restaurant yet, so maybe this trip, who knows. But this is the forno where they make all the savory food, but they even have a lot of desserts. As you can see, nice cakes in the window. So good. Look at that, a little apricot tree in the middle of the city. <laughs> it's actually pretty. Yeah, it's in that little pot. So pretty. Only in Italy. We are on our old street of Via del Governo Vecchio right now. It's very close to where we're actually currently staying, just the other side of Piazza Navona. Basically, this grocery store, Care for Express, has honestly the best prosciutto and mozzarella di bufala. They have really good mozzarella here. My mom even said, she's like, it's the best mozzarella I've ever had. And it's at the grocery store, so you just have to walk in. The grocery stores look small from the outside, but there's actually quite a bit on the inside. This is the view from our Airbnb. There's our street. It's so pretty here. I'm just drinking this drink because I'm sick and this is so good considering I'm sick. It's zenzero and limone. So it is ginger and lemon and it's so sour and spicy from the ginger. Lisa's getting her gelato. She waited in line. I got for three euros. This is actually pretty big, eh? That's good for I got zabayone, pistacchio and chocolato arancia. Wow. Delicious. Oh, you should try. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it worth the wait? Would you say it's better than Joy Liti? I still love Joy Liti, like, the best. But this is actually amazing. <laughs> it's really good. Delicious. So. Yummy. I'm at my favorite spot, Rocholi. We came here actually because Jules needed to use the bathroom and you couldn't find one easily. And then when I see this, I just can't help but get it. So. <laughs> mm. This is my favorite with pesto, burrata, and a tomato base. Heaven. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to come out of the bathroom, so I'm talking to myself here, <laughs> but it's so good. The 
chat and reunited again. Bob Chamawa. Bob Chamawa. Bob Chamawa. And Lucy and his mama. <laughs> and we are going to Piazza Navona. Do you have any change to throw in there? Got myself another ice cream. <laughs> My second gelato of the day. So good. I got myself a Malaga because I saw that they put it out fresh and it looked really good. Almost like similar to like a rum and raisin type deal, but with the Malaga wine and mandorla, which is almonds. And Babcha got a gelato too because we forced her. <laughs> lodi, lodi. Lodi, lodi. Lodi, lodi. <laughs> This is where we are at St. Peter Square and we have the beautiful Basilica behind us. It is so lovely. Like I said, we are going to be going in at another date when it's actually open. <laughs> but it's so pretty and fresh out and this is their first time seeing Rome, Lucy and Babcha, so it's quite the experience for them. And it's a beautiful day. So if you, if you step in the middle right here, all of the columns line up. So it literally looks like one column from everywhere you look, but it's an illusion because if you keep walking further, you can see that there's like four in a row on each side. So it's actually pretty cool. See? But from that little space, it just looks like one. It's perfect to not spill over. It's like literally right at the rim. <laughs> right in front of beautiful St. Peter's Basilica. Basilica di San Pietro. See the birds up there flying high above the 12 apostles. There's little Lucy taking pictures. <laughs> Here is a panoramic 360 view. In a way. <laughs> In a way. Stunning is this right now, guys. Holy! It is such a pretty sunset right now. 